everyone welcome to medical dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm roshni nal let's look at today's top health news intimate partner violence is one of the most common forms of violence against women and includes physical sexual and emotional abuse and controlling behaviors by an intimate partner WHO data suggests more than 25% women suffer from partner violence. The number for partner violence against women are higher than you think. Sexual or partner violence against women by male partners is on the rise and the occurrence post COVID-19 is suspected to be higher. This has been reported in a Lancet study which mentions that more than 1 in 4 ever partnered women within the age bracket of 15 to 49 years had been a victim of the same at least once. There is also an increase in abuse and violence against younger women recently which is even worse because these are very sensitive stages of life where expectations and boundaries of healthy relationships are set. A country consultation process identified additional studies included that there were studies conducted between 2000 and 2018 representative at the national or sub national level included women aged 15 years or older and used act based measures of physical or sexual both intimate partner violence evidence suggests that women who are abused by their partners suffer higher risk of depression anxiety and phobias than non abused women The database comprises 366 eligible studies capturing the response of 2 million women. Data were obtained from 161 countries and areas covering 90% of the global population of women and girls 15 years or older. Analysis the data the researchers noted that globally 27% of ever partnered women aged 15 to 49 years are estimated to have experienced physical or sexual or both intimate partner violence in their lifetime. This violence starts early affecting adolescent girls and young women with 24% of women aged 15 to 19 years and 26% of women aged 19 to 24 years having already experienced this violence at least once since the age of 15 years. Regional variations exist with low income countries reporting higher lifetime and ever more pronouncedly higher past year prevalence compared with high income countries. Particularly for India the authors found that the countries fell in the second highest prevalence ranges the 35 to 39% of ever married or ever partnered women within 15 to 49 years being subjected to physical or sexual violence at least once in the lifetime. In the discussion the authors that discussed that these numbers could go much higher as these statistics are not gold standard and the counts of women beyond reproductive ages are not included. Also the assumptions are based on self reported events by women victims which may not be accurate given the associated stigma around this topic. In recent years a number of international reviews has synthesized evidence on effective or at least promising approaches to preventing and responding to violence against women including IPV. Hence there is an urgent need to invest in effective multi-sectoral interventions, strengthen the public health response to intimate partner violence and it is addressed in post covid-19 reconstruction efforts that's all for today stay safe never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon